नाउ द टॉपिक बिफोर अस इज की कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ कैरियर काउंसलिंग टू टेक द डिसीजन विद रिगार्ड टू अवर कैरियर इज ए वेरी डिफिकल्ट वन अवर पेरेंट्स हैव देयर ओन एक्सपेक्टेशंस विद रिगार्ड टू अवर कैरियर we have also our own dreams what we want to become in our life many a times we take the decision with regard to our career on the basis of what our family friends or relatives say what our friends are doing while pursuing for our career we also take into consideration which university is nearby to our home so that we may study there and what are those courses in which we can easily get admission so normally many of the students take decision with regard to their career on the basis of incomplete information or societal pressure or the expectations of their family members even if we do not agree with whatever parents say then our parents may ask us in which direction we want to go that is for which career we have to study we may also not have any answer with regard to that so when we are still in the beginning stage of this to decide with regard to our career or when we want to change our career or when we were to make progression in our career we may seek the help of a career counselor so now we will study the key components of career counseling career counseling is a systematic process in the normal world what happens we know that that person has this skills these are his weaknesses but we are not self aware about our strengths weaknesses skills we more now about the others so career counseling is a systematic process which helps an individual to understand one's self one's self means to understand our own strengths our own weaknesses our skills our abilities career counseling helps the client to explore various career options explore means to have the information with respect to various career options so that we can take an informed decision about the career career counseling can be beneficial for the people of all ages it is not that it is beneficial only for students or for the middle aged persons it is beneficial for all ages and the stages of their careers that is when the person is still as a student he wants to decide about his career he may seek the help of career counselor and when you are doing a job and you are not satisfied with your job and you are uncertain what to do in this situation you may seek the career seek the help of a career counselor and if you want to make progression in your career and you are feel, feeling some problem in career progression then you may also seek the help of a career counselor so the career counselor the career counseling can be beneficial for people of all ages and stages of their careers it can be helpful for people 
who are in the beginning stage of choosing a career or people who wish to change career or recovering from a layoff and people who are looking to advance their careers. It may be also possible that you were doing a job and due to certain reasons you have been laid off and in spite of you are taking the best efforts that is you may have sent say hundreds of resumes to different employers but you are unable to get a job. So in that case you are likely to feel stressed. So in such a situation when you have been laid off and you are finding a new job and you are finding it a little problematic to find a new job you can seek the help of a career counselor to find a new job. Choosing a career is an important task but it may also be a difficult one. Suppose a person wants to decide about his career but it may not be possible for an individual person to research about all the careers. What is the educational qualification required for each career from where he can get that education or which uh, university or college will be better? What are the likely financial implications of studying in a particular institution? What will be the job responsibilities if you decide for a particular career? What will be the package in that career? That is, you as an individual, when you are deciding about your career, you cannot do the research in respect of each and every career. So it is better you take the help of career counselor who are well informed about the various careers. What is the job requirement? What is the job requirement of the particular career? What is the qualification required from where the training can be taken? What will be the cost of taking the particular training or acquiring the particular education? How the particular skills which are required for the job can be acquired? So the career counselor can help you in this all respects. We will discuss each of how the career counselor helps a person in achieving a successful career or achieving your career goal we will discuss each and every point in detail a career counselor will often be able to provide valuable information relating to the job market trends skill education training etc required for different careers and the potential earning of various careers what will be the likely payout if you join a particular career the said information may be provided to you by the career counselor. Now we will have a brief overview of the key components of the career counseling. Key components of career counseling may vary depending upon the approach and the needs of the individual seeking counseling. However, some com common components of the career counseling include self-assessment, career exploration, education planning, skill development, resume and interview preparation. It may happen that you have the best qualification and you are applying for a job but you fail. You are sending your resume time and again in respect of each and every advertisement you come across but even after say three months you are not able to get a call even for a single interview then you are likely to be feel depressed so in that case the career counselor helps you in building a resume which is effective in this competitive world Thousands of persons are unemployed. 
in each and every field and even for a single post thousands of persons may apply so the employer or the prospective person who is evaluating your resume has a very little time say 6 to 8 seconds only to go through your resume so the resume of yours should be such that it does not contain any irrelevant information it should be to the point it should highlight your achievements so the career counselor helps you in building a effective resume and the career counselor also helps you in interview preparation they will tell you about what are the various interview tips what are the common interview questions which may be asked what are the role based questions what are the behavioral questions so they will guide you in each and every aspect of resume and interview preparation next is goal setting if you set a goal with regard to your career which is beyond your skills and abilities you are likely to seek a failure so you should set the goal which is smart we will learn it in detail decision making career counselors also help in decision making overcoming barriers workforce trends diversity and inclusion ethical considerations cultural sensitivity career counselors also provide you continuous support throughout your career progression or when you are taking the steps towards achieving your career goal career transitions when you want to change your career it may be possible that you are not satisfied you with your current job there is lot of work stress you are not in a position to maintain work life balance that is you are overly burdened with your office work and you have no time to attend to your family or attend to your hobbies or the job which you are doing is not as per your values so in that case you may want career change so the career counselor may helps you in career change then the career counselor will also tell you inform you about the legal and regulatory considerations we will understand about each and every component of career counseling in detail in the coming lectures thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course